afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being part of Entrepreneur India's uh, Resilience uh, Series. Uh, today's topic of discussion will be uh, the coming of age of our friendly neighborhood grocers. Uh, I am Saurav Kumar, uh, Editor Special Projects Entrepreneur India, the moderator for the session. Uh, let me start by uh, laying down the ground rule for our attendees. Uh, the discussion will go on for 45 minutes and that will be followed by a 15 minute Q&A session. If you have any questions during the course of the discussion, you can post it through the Q&A option at the bottom of your screen or if you're live uh, on Facebook, you can post your questions uh, in the comment section. Uh, mention your, uh, in your question, mention if it is directed toward any, uh, towards any specific panelist. Uh, we'll take up the questions post the uh, discussion. So uh, let me introduce our panelists for the day. We have with us today, Mr. Anand Kumar Bajaj, uh, MD and CEO, pay nearby. Mr. Uh, Karthik uh, Venkateshwaran, CEO and co-founder, Jumbo Tail. Mr. Baivav uh, Domkundwar, uh, CEO and founder, Better Capital. Welcome everyone. So uh, let me put out some numbers here. Uh, you know, we, uh, we, we were mentioning about Nielsen. So according to Nielsen, there are around 12 million Kirana stores in India around 1 million wholesalers. And the retail industry size is around dollar six fifty billion. Now these are big numbers, but you know, un, you know, for some reason they get, get lost or overshadowed by the, uh, you know, online grocery numbers or the, or the limelight that we see. But during these current pandemic, these grocers, this neighborhood uh, friendly grocers were really turned out to be our lifeline. So, you know, I'll first, uh, start with uh, you know your initial thoughts that what was your experience during this period and then maybe uh, if uh, we can go ahead so Anand if I can start with you please. Uh, yeah thank you so much for hosting this session um, it's um, uh, a great uh, uh, opportunity to talk to about the retailing in India. Uh, we uh, believe that 8% of India uh, we come from fintech background I am a banker ex-banker 17 years uh, owning five patents in my work, but we realized that banking to be taken to the common man, it is best through a trusted nearby retailer, uh, it should be done. Uh, five years ago, when we started this journey at Pay Nearby, we realized that retail is evolving, retailers are not. And I need not explain, but for punctuating, I would say that the online triad of the e-commerce had come, uh, the dark store based deliveries had come, uh, where consumers are getting their products, what they want. But leaving behind in the bargain, the mom and pop stores, what has happened already in US, UK, uh, Europe, uh, the mom pop stores have vanished. And hence it was imperative for us to look at how do we ensure that the retailers survive in their business so that we can survive in ours. Because our business is about assisted digital financial service. Uh, clearly, there is 8% of India which is uh, super uh, digitized on payments and they are self-service digital savvy greedy segment who have debit credit card net banking and have the P and W and the A of the world on using the digital payments. But the remaining 92% of India goes to the retailer Kirana once or twice or thrice a month. And which is where we thought that we will augment, augment the existence of the retailer and harness his credibility. He is already a trusted uh, corner shop. Uh, the COVID, what it has been able to do is uh, highlight his existence there, the sleepy, quiet neighborhood store uh, who would say no for most of the things most of the time. Uh, today commands uh, uh, premium and is able to help us all survive. Uh, fact that what we say that what uh, in the soldiers working on the war front, doctors in hospital, don't miss these Kirana store partners working on the store front to help us all survive with our basic grocery essentials. A great amount of work being done by Jumbo Tales and other people who are doing the supply chain assessment uh, uh, assistance to these Kirana. Otherwise, uh, the Kiranas could not have been uh, getting all the supplies so easily. Our endeavor has uh, shown good results. About uh, a million retailers who are registered with us, four and a half lakh active monthly. They assist the citizen to do two kilo aloo, one kilo piaj, or 500 rupee cash dena bhaiya. You have been able to merge, compact the banking exposure to an ATM also at a Kirana store. And you don't need to now venture out into two exposures in the COVID uh, sensitive environment. And you can go to the same Kirana store. The fact that government gave out direct benefit transfers, it reached the bank accounts uh, of the misbanked India. Because these accounts had a card, the cards were not working. These cards 
and bank accounts were with a bank branch, but the bank branch were 20 kilometer away. But who was closest to them is the retailer nearby. And hence, they were able to go to the Kirana store and tell him, bhaiya, 500 rupiah cash dena. Uh, the prime minister spoke about it. The finance minister, madam, spoke. And the governor, Reserve Bank, spoke about the business correspondent model. Now, we have seen a tremendous surge. And with few partners like Jumbo Tail, Uran, all of them have come and collaborated with us, uh, trying to make all their stores augment this uh, with additional service feature that we have built as a stack. So as a platform now, uh, with a, a compact uh, a risk engine around payments and with API stacks open uh, to bring in more partners on one side and the railroads in 17,000 pin codes of India with 5 lakh active retail uh, touch points, we have a network. So a platform and a network is very, very difficult to build, but it took us four years of 700 uh, members at pay nearby. And now it is available as a partnership handshake. Anyone could come and just collaborate on this platform and then railroads are available in the hinterlands of the country. So Kirana will evolve and we work very closely with uh, Mr. B.S. Nagesh uh, of TRAIN, the Trust for Retailers and Retailers Associates, with Retail Association of India, Kumar Rajgopalan. They are all mentors, very well-meaning people for the industry. And I'm sure many of you, I would like to hear Vaibhav and uh, Karthik also talk about their work. Yes, definitely. So, you know, we'll talk about collaboration definitely because that is something that we are seeing across verticals, especially in this situation. So we'll come to that later, but, uh, you know, I'll come to Karthik first and, you know, uh, the same question that I started with, you know, what has been your, ex like, obviously, uh, you know, there, there, there was a traction before, even when COVID hit, uh, you know, in the detail space, but definitely things would have changed. So what was your uh, observation, uh, what has been your observation during this period? Uh, I'll keep uh, the introductions about uh, Jumbo Tail rather short and focus on uh, the real topic here, which is the local grocer, right? Yeah. So um, Jumbo Tail is a, uh, India's leading new retail platform. We aggregate Kirana stores on our platform. We provide a full stack of services across end-to-end, -end, starting from initially we started from, you know, providing them a marketplace access to uh, all of the suppliers across all brands, across, you know, uh, uh, all the top FMCG brands, uh, market staples, even market producers. And uh, we uh, have our own full stack supply chain. Uh, we do thousands of storefront deliveries every day. Uh, and with our J24 stores, we not only modernize their supply chain and whatever we offer, we also brand the Kirana stores with our J24 branding. It's a co-branding model. Uh, and uh, you, you get in-store technology, point of sale. It's a it's, it's suite of services software for augmenting the demand side of the Kirana stores. So Jumbo Tail platform uh, uh, takes care of the supply side. The demand side of the Kirana stores, how they connect uh, with their end consumers. These stores are integrated with uh, Swiggy, Dunzo, Flipkart, uh, technology integrations on the hyperlocal model. Uh, these stores have financial integrations with you know, some lending providers. And also uh, we solve for uh, aspects like home delivery for the Kirana stores. So uh, still a healthy percentage of uh, stores orders come via phone calls uh, and we help them solve for it through our software stack, we, through our training. And it's a full suit of transformation of the Kirana store. Our fundamental hypothesis has always been that India's 98% of the market flows through the mom and pop stores. Mom and pops are essential so much so that our company tagline is J Jawan, J Kisan, J Dukan. We have taken one step forward and recognized the importance of a Dukanda in the whole ecosystem. He is the economic engine, right? And we want to transform this country's retail in a massive manner, inclusive manner, by transforming these millions of mom and pop stores in ways that was not possible a few years ago, using technology, using internet, mobile phone, adoption, 4G infrastructure, and infuse big box tools that were like whether it's an AI driven merchandising plan or whether it is like simple insights. Like, you know, if you put white lights, our data says that stores with white lights sell much more uh, than stores with yellow lights or no lights, right? So, even these simple insights uh, transform uh, an income of the Kirana stores much better. So, our goal is to put the Kirana store and the store owner in the center and be an increasing part of their journey helping them with the demand side, finance side. So we have a fintech platform that connects all the lenders and get them working capital, asset credit. And then we are also branding them. So it's a, it's a, it's, it, our, our, we are the friend of the Kirana stores. 
we help them transform and we help them uh, you know serve the people and through these people we are aggregating consumer demand we have never lost focus of that because for us getting to kirana store uh, is the fastest way of aggregating consumer demand and helping them getting the fastest way of aggregating consumers to the kirana stores and therefore being able to understand what the consumers want and because ultimately the consumer has to consume everybody is a channel right if you don't help the kirana store sell more to the consumers you're not going to be able to help him there is only so much you can do to increase his you know it decreases cost you have to increase his demand fundamentally you have to make him competitive in this ever competing world you have to make him ready to face the consumer um uh, needs aspir- aspirations we found that uh, most of the you know the, the j24 program is a, is a result of our deep research uh, ethnographic research on the end consumers we asked a simple question why did the kirana store not die everybody took it for granted right we didn't take it for granted we said what are the underlying conditions in which why it didn't die and one of the key reasons that emerged and we saw that in some of the behaviors that we saw on the ground is that most kirana stores uh, had a personal relationships uh, with the people around them and the people around them stayed for 10 years 15 years in the same locality and therefore more than the manjunatha stores manjunath was more important right but we saw a very very interesting behavior the kirana stores no longer wanted to give credit to their consumers this is again something that we took for granted right when we went to the jetnali for program and we went to the lending solution the store said sir we are not wa- wanting to give credit anymore so what we grew up with is no longer the case and we asked them why we said consumer mobility sir these people stay for one year two years suddenly they vanish i don't know where they go and i can't absorb so he is a guy who will not able to absorb then we went to the millennials they asked so they are ultra mobile population they want to go from one place to another place and then they want to retain relationships with brands not individuals this is very important point right what allowed the kirana to survive the onslaught of the biggies so far may not be the case if we don't encapsulate what a kirana stands for under a brand and make it ubiquitous and that's why the j24 program right so the demand is changing not the demand patterns are changing the people who are interacting with them are no longer connecting with the owner they are connecting with some brand some identity and that is how they identify themselves and they are ultra mobile they want to when they move from one locality to other locality the biggest consideration is the things that i love and i and, and i and i feel is it available oh i love a, a, a pizza shop or i love this store is it available that is how they even choose the residential areas they go into next right so if this is ever changing this is the trend that we see then we saw that there's an important you know uh, tool that we need to weaponize these mom and pops we need to give them what they don't lack today uh, what they don't have today so the local grocer continues and will continue to be an important part of the entire economic world of this country no questions asked but he requires help in ways more than bits and pieces it's a full stack and you need to create it you need to create a minimum viable ecosystem and that's what we are doing at jumbo tech okay happy to elaborate more any more questions yeah of course and you know uh, i'll come back to you definitely uh, you know you talked about that we need to empower them so i'll come to you wave of so you know uh, uh, you have investments in these kind of uh, you know local entities of people who are empowering uh, uh, you know kirana stores and uh, from very uh, young age, uh, i mean ever since as uh, karthik mentioned that uh, like in my in my uh, area mundo was more important the kirana store was secondary you know we know mundo that you know we go there for everything we wanted and we, we so that was the relation that we had but somehow that was getting lost somewhere and i think you found uh, you found value in it and that's why you bet, you bet on it so uh, what's your observation about uh, you know the emergence of kirana uh, right now yeah so you know let me take a zoomed out view at it of it right so essentially you know um, i i run better capital which is a pre seed and seed stage fund um as an investor as an early stage investor uh, you know my job really is to identify a segment that i feel um there can be innovation in but i also have to sort of go 5 years ahead 5 10 years ahead 
and I see what my evaluation of a trend is, imagine the future and then come back and say, hey, you know, how do we solve for that future, right? Um, so I think the, the fundamental thing uh, for me, and I've lived in the West for a very long time, I've grown up in India, so you, are, you can see the differences and you saw, I was probably the first customer of Amazon from the 1996 days, let's say, so very, very early books only days, right? And I think if you look at, you know, where Amazon has come, I think that convenience has become ubiquitous, you know, uh, when, when they said next day delivery, we were already happy, but we could, we didn't know as customers that we could be happier, but with a few hours um, sort of a delivery, they've made us even happier and made our experience even stickier and things like that. And we said, wow, this is amazing. Well, you know, if you look at India, we always had the two hour experience through our neighborhood shops. Right? We've always had it, right? So when I looked at it as an investor, and I think when you, when you have the Amazon's flip cards and everything's of the world, and what they are, uh, you, know, you, you know, we are 1.3 billion people, US is 350 million people, right? Very, very sparse. We are extremely dense. So just completely different demographic. We already had, let's say, our two hour, like, for example, 20 minute thing as well for one item. It's just that, you know, it wasn't complete. It wasn't... Uh, it was broken a little bit or whatever, right? And so that's why we had this other view which said, oh, I'm just going to create a new experience for my users, right? And when I looked at it, I felt like, wow, you know, this is going to take hundreds of millions of dollars of investment to reinvent something that is already working to a certain extent. Right. I have the barber shop. I have the grocery store. I have the real estate agent around the corner. I have everything around me. Right now, do and, and this is, you know, serving 1.3 billion people. Right. We have this happening at every nook and corner of India. So do I, as an investor, believe in a future that oh, some completely new company is going to blanket all over India with a billion dollars of investment and solve for that experience, right? Do I do that or do I just say, hey, you know, I think the infrastructure is already there. I just want to enable it. I want to enable payments. I want to enable supply chain. I want to enable marketing. I want to enable customer service. I want to enable uh, them to run their business better. Right. So, you know, at Better Capital for, for across segments, including this, we basically said we are going to bet on the enablement of India that is actually working. The Kirana store guy is extremely sharp. You know, you cannot throw technology at him. If his business does not benefit, he will throw technology away. Right. So we are building for that person and you will get your PMF like that. Right. Because he is the hardest buyer you can get to. Right. So so I think that's where our investments have been. Right. So I think uh, Karthik mentioned about supply chain. I, I think that's a very important part. We've invested in a company called Shop Kirana that is solving the supply chain problem better than anybody else in the markets that they operate. Going super deep and solving the, the problem. I think we were talking earlier about choice. Right. Uh, um, do the Kirana stores constantly have to say, uh, ye brand nahi hai, wo nahi hai, wo nahi hai. how do I solve for that? How do I introduce new brand? Why, why do I get my customer to have to track down to a nature's basket or something like that to get that new brand? Why can't be that be stopped in my thing? So I think that's the supply chain that let's say a shop Kirana is building. You know, if you look at a Khata book, uh, you know, he's, he's actually saying that ye aapka udhari ka jo chal rahe, jiske se, you know, you are actually stretched and you're not able to scale. Um, I'm, let me just solve it for you through technology. And I think the adoption they're getting is because they are actually solving the problem. The cash flow is improving. They can see it happening. Correct. Right? So I think um, that's one big trend of enabling. I think we have to enable. We have to enable. We cannot reinvent what is already working. Right. That's one. And now I think if we talk about what has happened in the last four months, right, across sectors, but I think specifically about grocery and uh, produce and things like that, I think we have hit, um, you know, I don't know if you guys have seen the US e-commerce growth during the pandemic. They basically grew in these four months, the growth, right, the percentage growth 
was what they had in the last 10 years, right? It is unbelievable. And I am sure, I'm sure we just don't have that kind of granular data. I am sure if we look at how Indians, 1.3 billion Indians have bought fruits, vegetables, and atta around all of India in the last four months, we'll see the exact same thing, right? And I think that's a clear inflection point that I'm going to learn from, Karthik's going to learn from, Anand's going to learn from, right? And it's incredible because, you know, uh, in, in my world where I'm investing pre-product market fit, I'm investing in an idea, right? And what do I really need? I need my users to just try, right? These four months, believe me, we have made people try everything. What I mean, how many people use Zoom four months before? Right? Half of India, I mean, 90% of India didn't even know what the heck Zoom was. Correct? So I think there's just incredible learning that is happening. And it is a period of incredible experimentation because my user is telling me every single day more than what I would have learned in the last two years. Right? And now what is happening is that, you know, as an investor, I'm like, hey, you know, we always talked about the supply chain, the farmer supply chain. Right? Um, like I was telling you earlier, I, I have gotten the best capsicum, uh, red and yellow capsicum downstairs, delivered downstairs than I have ever bought from anybody online. No brand. No brand. Right? No brand. So what is a brand, let's say, right? The brand is, you know, what delivers the experience of quality and everything. The thing is, this came directly in a brown bag from the farmer. Right? So now if, if, but I agree with Karthik's point about long-term brand association. Now my question is, is there a D2C brand which says, hey, you know, I'm going to give that capsicum, I'm just going to package it better, put my brand and make sure this lasts beyond the pandemic, right? So I think we have an incredible opportunity around the, 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 the buying behavior change that we have enforced or the pandemic has enforced. And I think a lot of us, I mean, there's a lot that lot of challenging times for everybody, but I think we have all experienced what we probably didn't give a chance to, right? So I think uh, we are all, I think, uh, established companies like Jumbo Tail, Shop Kirana, and Pay Nearby are going to innovate. I think Anand gave a great example of cashback. You know, I did that all, you know, growing up. I mean, all my professional career was in the, in the San Francisco Bay Area, and we'll always get 20 bucks at Safeway. Always, right? Now, imagine if that happens, and I think then what happens to ADM, right? So I think this is incredible, right? I think um, we're all learning, and I think, um, uh, you know, we'll touch upon more details as well, but that's the view I have as an early stage investor, right? I think it's an incredible time for experimentation and learning. Absolutely. So, you know, Vaibhav, uh, 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 you talked about, you know, capsicum. Now, capsicum is something uh, you know, I think the example that you gave, does it really hold true for, you know, other items as well? Like, uh, you know, Karthik was saying that a brand association, association is necessary. Now, that is maybe is necessary for other things, you know, uh, maybe uh, maybe an atta, maybe or oil, especially that oil that we use, you know. So a capsicum is a different thing, but when it comes to oil or dal, maybe, you know, because we know that. So do you think that holds true for a cross or it, it's like, different for different SKUs. And also the thing what that I won't want to know is that, you know, about the SKU keeping for retailers, how do we solve that issue? Like, at least I have observed that, that though the local Kirana stores were able to uh, supply to uh, whatever my need was, but they were able to supply Atta, but they were not able to supply Ashirvad Atta maybe, or XYZ Atta. So right. that was a change that I have made because out of compulsion, and not because of uh, my choice, because that was available to me that at that point in time. So if you can, you know, talk about that maybe, um, yeah, and then yeah. we'll come. So I, I think there are there are three questions in there. I quickly talk yeah. about all three, and I'll love to get Karthik's opinion and answer as well. But I think, look, I think when we talk about the capsicum, right uh, now, uh, going back to what Karthik was saying earlier, I think it is about my experience. My experience was great. My experience was great. The product was great, right? Now, it didn't happen earlier when the capsicum was probably around Pune where I live, right? So how do I solve for that problem for that to be long lasting? Because to be honest, I benefited and the farmer benefited as well, correct? So if, if, if all parties benefited, 
we really want a, a solution to long uh, last longer right so i think there are new generation companies who are coming up who are understanding this in specific segments you are absolutely right that every segment of product can you know will have different solutions right but um, you know this is a, in fact there is an investment we just announced in a company called we grow which is targeting the exotic fruits and vegetables market which actually has a lot of demand supply um, uh, disconnect right and uh, they will they will solve my problem but they will also solve the problems of every others who are who are consuming the exotic foods and vegetables so i think we will have these you know can i expect the farmer to from tomorrow start to say boss this is my new supply chain no i don't think so i think that's a little far fetched i think we'll get there but you know there will be companies like we grow who will basically say look i i i can do it for you right so i think we'll see a lot of that happening now coming back to the next question which is that well atta is not the same. i mean um, uh, capsicum is yeah. not the same as atta or oil right which is where i think the brand association does come in it will be very important and it will continue to stay now oh, uh, you, the question you had was you know but he does not carry it so i'll just go back to big basket or wherever i was doing it from right now i think that's a question we all have to answer because now the consumer has said that if i actually buy um uh, if you actually have it i'll continue to buy it because you know i i actually really like it right because even that little conversation i have with you it's a much more uh, human experience where we are actually enjoying even that like one of my friends in new york said you know my experience my my uh, connection with the outside world is the amazon delivery guy <laughs> so i think we have come to appreciate all the little things in life right so what i'm saying is if jumbo tales and shop kiranas of the world say that look i'm going to solve that problem now you want ashirwad right your customers by ashirwad let me figure that out now that becomes a data and supply chain problem correct and i think while it is not a trivial problem um it is a solvable problem it is also not something that we can just blanket a solution and solve it in a day i think it will it will have its cycle it will be region there will be regional players somebody might work at scale in south india somebody might way uh, work in madhya pradesh or something like that right but i think it's a supply chain problem there are already companies solving it and um and and coming back to my equation i think um can 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 200 million users buy ashirwad data online or can i solve the supply chain problem to have you know 500 million people buy it from a local so i think the second is an easier problem to solve less expensive and much more efficient also so i think that's my view on it okay kakte yeah i want to represent the point of view of the brands uh, you know there is a brands are able to reach the consumers there is there is one of i am having a quality product and i may be able to efficiently get it to the consumers via these kinana stores right most of the brands had a distribution system that relied on very physical infrastructure even though it is a very low cost infrastructure but it was like a physical distributor taking a uh, no digital they are the salesman will go and take an order every every week once uh, covid and then they deliver it two days later right covid undermined any such system that relies on a manual way of actually building your business it is act- actually undermined every business where even technology companies uh, who have raised hundreds of millions of dollars of funding they have even scaled using manual manpower to increase their gmv right even they got screwed right so they basically everybody who was relying on a man visit physically visiting a shop or a, or, a, or a, and and then creating the demand uh, is is gone is is thrown out of the window right now at least temporarily mm-hmm. um, so now in the absence of which now the kirana store is having a problem right and uh, you know since you to go for itc itc at one of the best distribution systems in, in the country and if their salesmen are not able to reach the mom and pops now there are alternative platforms like jumbo tail maybe shop kirana and uh, you know every other procurement platform in the world uh, that that has this ability for the kirana store to open the app and place the order becomes a viable channel right now the at least the demand information is getting transmitted to an entity which has deep relationships with the brand now we are able to open the pipes for any brand but then this pipe is democratic pipe it is not an exclusive pipe right it is not owned by a particular brand so now the beauty of this pipe says that the pipe is democratized now let's fight on quality right so if you have same quality product at a cheaper price now remember of all the people 
the only person who is capable of pushing a brand is the Kirana store. He has the personal relationship of saying, Mem sahab, ye tata tini yacha chal raha, ye le jau. Right. Now he has got that ability. Now when you make that margin profiles available to him, you no longer spend on, you are, there is a high quality product that is giving him higher margins. And especially in this pandemic, he is looking for higher margins because if his top line has fallen, he has to look for higher margins on a slower top line to cover his cost, right? So therefore he's looking for higher margins. And there is a brand is saying, I am having high quality product. I'm not spending on random TV advertisements about the line and all that stuff. So I'm giving you all of my channel margins to you. Now you sell. Now it's a double whammy for an established brand. The brand we have seen in our experience that there are brands that still stand the ground in this. People don't buy. Irrespective, even if you, we have seen it from our consumer shopping experiences in our J24 stores, we know how the shelf uh, gets empty, what kind of action. There are still, uh, still some brands. But then there are many brands that have come across as pretty replaceable. Purely today based on availability. So uh, a Mari biscuit, is, people are okay. A Bourbon biscuit, people are okay. But then if you look at, as they say, Maggie, uh, people will still have a choice. But we have still seen even number three, number four player, like a very, very four player Maggie noodles, uh, noodles, instant noodles have started selling. Just because people are looking for instant noodles, right? Consumer preferences are changing. In places where consumers are really, really, like let's say one of the biggest trends that I, we are observing is something called a cooking fatigue. So we are observing that consumers are now getting tired of cooking, right? And even it becomes a chore, it, they just don't want to do it. And therefore they are choosing any and every ready to eat product that can you know, fly off the shelf. We are actually seeing it on the ground, right? So in that case is in all of your instant noodles, even a number four player, so long as he's able to just push it through the democratic pie and put it in the shelf, he's winning. Even we have seen personal care, personal care, like people don't want to go out and shop today. Some of our, most of our J24 stores are located very close to the customers and some of them are located inside the apartment complexes, right? The communities are preventing any apartment uh, movement outside inside of the apartment complexes. In those places, we are seeing even personal care choices being changed. Like I'm using a lifelong, you know, soap and I'm willing to try a new soap just because it is available. So what it has created a temporary condition in which a lot of trials will happen purely based on availability, right? Somebody is not able to supply and somebody is able to, is having a surplus stock and he's able to push, right? And that demand information is with us platforms. I know that X demand is there for like say 100,000 uh, 100, packets of you know, instant noodles. I'll transmit this information to everybody whosoever is actually filling up my warehouses or even willing to supply the demand, they get a preferential shelf access right? because just purely because that's available. I don't want the shelf to go empty. Mm -hmm. So in this case, they're getting a good environment for trial. But I also think that brands will come back. The greatest example, again, going back to Maggie, right? They were off the market for nearly like nearly like yeah. one year because of some, you know, uh, uh, you know, yeah, food yeah. Thing, right? Yeah. Still within three months, they were back up to the same market share. We saw it. Yeah. So therefore, if you really have a great brand, if you really have invested your last 20, 30, 50 years in building that brand, I think you can really, uh, you know, win. But if you have introduced new brands into the pipe purely because of your power of distribution, not because of the power of quality. So I have a great uh, Atta brand and retailer, you Koro, you say, if, I, if you don't take my biscuits, I won't give you my Atta. And if you have built your brand using those kind of arm twisting techniques with your retailer, now the retailer is going to come back like that, you know, mad elephant and say, boss, I'm going to kick you out. Right. And then you are argumenting that retailer, enabling that retailer with these platforms. So now I think the consumer is benefiting. The consumer is now getting access to product. Number one, number two, he's getting access to quality products. He's not like something is not there in the shelf, not because, you know, he's not able to reach him. That, that reach has been democratized. This is what my point is, right? So six months from now, would we see all the top brands just get wiped out and a purely availability guy will win? No. The consumer is very, very clever, right? He will come back to the noodles that he loved. He will come back to the biscuits that he loved. But today, uh, he's playing on availability and you have a fair chance. The life has given all of the challenger brands a fair chance. Correct. Okay. Great, great. Good point, mate. Before, uh, before I go to Anand, I'll request my attendees again, you know, keep uh, your 
uh, questions coming we'll take it later um, and and so what, what, what's your observation in this the, the the thing we are discussing you know uh, people will go back to brands or this is just a chance for newer brands to make a space for themselves maybe a smaller pie that they will gain or what has been your experience with your uh, uh, with your kirana stores see i agree with kartik the retailer has a great lever to promote uh, what he wants to and it is a trade off very clearly between the trust that he has and the margin that he can earn extra on an unbranded or a branded lesser known product and uh, uh, of course maggi is maggi no one can compensate i would not uh, gulp down anything other than maggi likewise for coke i wouldn't take the other black drink down my throat i would go thirsty but if coke is not available i would walk out likewise i hear from uh, shrinivas fatak of unilever that certain uh, cosmetic products people would not want to experiment on their face if it is coming on a cheaper price but let's talk about essentials and i that's where i agree with both uh, what vaibhav said and kartik said that ultimately uh, the essentials are important suddenly the world is realizing that just because you are not buying non essentials there is global crisis because people have come back to buying normal stuff and surviving on the basics there seems to be a crisis world over dal atta chawal khana kafi nahi hai aapke liye aapko kyu zyada drama chahiye simple cheeze samne aa rahi hai important also greed and fear two things drive i was telling at the global fintech forum yesterday uh, greed has done its round the cashback scenarios now the fear is driving opportunities for new things new entrants to attempt uh, the things that i can take from a nearby store versus a delivery boy coming i don't know where he is coming from at least my area my nearby my neighborhood is hygienic and i rely i trust but i don't know the biker who is coming where he is coming from whom all has he visited whereas i can have little more surety at my near nearby retailer that said uh, web have highlighted that the retailers have been augmented now i know the name of my retailer many people have said this i know of 4 lakh retail partners who serve as digital pradhan on our platform and i like what eulogy uh, karthik said that j dukan j dukan right yeah jack kisan j dukan we say har dukan digital pradhan our intent is to make <laughs> something of the digital enabled to all our 50 lakh retailers in the country and we are at it now that said uh, how wonderful it is a scenario there i don't need to go and paste a qr sticker i am able to do it through digital outreach i have 4 and 1/2 lakh active retail partners on the ground doubling up as a gig economy partners to me i run surveys with them i do a lot of things through them on the nearby stores so the growth is uh, automated on the ground every store is able to touch base with 10 next door retailer and get data for sidbi lending imagine uh, why would i need to go and download a an unknown app and then fill my data there much rather my next door neighbor uh, partner retailer is asking a pharma retailer do you want loan i will help you there are uh, again to take uh, on kartik's point i uh, there is a lot of i think commonality in the approaches that we are seeing here that the digital supply chain connectivity is imperative what we have established at uh, pay nearby is that there is a grocery purchase app for consumer which fires order to the retailer and these are now sdk convertible so we are working with iceberg we are working with niti ayog to see that if we can give this to the suraksha store format and let people buy directly from the suraksha stores using the online ordering so either you have a order side in your control or you have a supply side augmented with your tools giving out api is a great way to go forward and we are as a platform now like i was saying in the beginning exposed our apis working with npci both on payment and non payment modules to give out the apis uh, so as a platform we do believe that uh, more and more business would come to our retailers without occupying shelf space uh, there are uh, woot and the uh, ullu and the hotstars which are getting now integrated on the platforms to sell through the same kirana 2 uh, kilo aloo 1 kilo pyaaj 1 mahine ka hotstar de dena bhaiya what not can you bring on the platform so it's a matter of collaboration like i said in the beginning and um, I, i think the uh, fact is very different on where you sit in pune or you in bangalore or i in mumbai and uh, sort of where you stay um, it's a very different world that we are in oh delhi all right very different world i am connected to the roots as we speak i am coordinating for my brother and father to get discharged from hospital after suffering from covid the challenge is that uh, like we said about the eulogy for the retailer there are fertilizer distribution companies 
who are working with the uh, fertilizer shops on the ground because if they do not distribute fertilizer and government seed the next crop will not come and the pandemic will have a very different element so we come from a family of uh, contribution and dedication to the nation so my dad and brother both caught covid because of this because they had to supply the seed the reality on the ground is that it's a time bomb if you know of bihar if you know of bengal um, the, the the rich man's disease uh, who can afford isolation has gone down to a level which is poor man's disease who is not deemed as stupid argumentatively they cannot afford uh, uh, isolation and it is not blasting out there is a fearful scenario on the ground and i think we all must solve for seeing how digital like nandan was telling yesterday in the uh, global fintech forum with navin surya and dilip asbe that how do we solve for digital payments on a feature phone how do we digitize it for a non uh, smartphone user is what uh, kartik and uh, penier by we will solve we will work on seeing how things can be done there there is huge huge amount of work and like i said uh, these are uh, someone was telling me that five years hence this will change and i told him if you get scared with an announcement of a large platform and shit bricks for five years nothing will change but what you do in the five years of gap period will change the trajectory so don't look at what the announcements are coming look at heads down continue doing your work because this will uplift and take off the market very differently so don't be fearful of a payment company announcing 200 startups shut down the day someone in noida announces something right that are yaar ye to usne kar liya yaar karo stand up and do your thing don't get scared people will come people will go but and and uh, like kartik again to your point very wonderfully uh, articulated that a uh, delivery uh, order taking is becoming difficult and hence at pay nearby we have integrated order taking even in our app so you can actually press button and order coke pepsi or whatever you have unilever products and it goes to the nearby supplier we will be happy if we can pipe it into you uh, and you can supply to all our retailers this is uh, a collaboration probably yeah. thank you very much i think i love i love all the ideas and you know living collaborating live on on a national platform like this great <laughs> Yeah, I think collaboration is the way forward. I mean, I've been talking to a lot of people across verticals, you know, and uh, like edtech and gaming coming together to make uh, you know education more for fun and interesting. So I think collaboration is uh, one more space where I think uh, people from who are solving different problems for local Kirana stores really need to see. So wherever I would want to come to you and get your views on this, you know, like you talked about enablers. So you know, Anand that. in his way kartik in his way and many other are you know enabling these uh, uh, for retail stores in in a lot of ways so do you think the collaboration is the way forward for them to you know put together come together and like he said that you know bigger bigger announcements of course i know you know jio is coming in today i said that flipkart again has made an announcement today uh, so nothing to fear you have you are solving a particular problem you are solving a particular problem come together and you give a holistic solution to a retailer empower them is that something that you would really want to see uh, going forward yeah no that's a great question saurabh so i think uh, le- let's kind of look at the history uh, that we have as a country right we have the history of large companies becoming larger and doing everything right now what happens in that is the consumer actually loses because everybody <laughs> doing everything is delivering an average experience across the world right there are very few people who are, the conglomerate business is as ended 3 decades ago we are still kind of trying to save it in our own way but i think the consumer suffers right now having said that um if you look across the world across segments it's the specialists that have always won because the specialists have figured out a problem that a consumer has far better than a generalist and has create a created a special special solution to solve that problem better than a generalist can right now to take a very global example when uh, facebook ba- bought instagram instagram was just pictures with filters right and anybody can copy it but you cannot copy the dna of what what was created the engine and how it ran right now i think if you look at this whole i think india is 
very brutal in terms of how large the conglomerates are, right? So that's why I think the upstarts uh, can feel fairly um, unsure about how they're going to do in this kind of, you know, big um, kind of conglomerate driven world. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, Zeroda is a great example, right? I, I think, uh, and, and the fact that they did it all without any venture capital, even a bigger example. So I think the specialist is the future, right? I don't think we all need to solve everything because if we end up doing that, we will just not solve anything completely or well enough, right? So I think special, this is everything. Um, that's why let's say Shop Kirana is doing supply chain. Uh, we have an agri company that Bharat called Bharat Agri, which is just solving advice. They want to be the best advice engine for farmers in the country than anybody else, purely tech, AI, ML powered, right? And they will partner, I mean, I have a large agri portfolio. They are actually partnering with the rest of them, right? So I do believe that the new generation of entrepreneurs will believe in specializing, going deep and being the best at what they do. And by nature of it, they will automatically partner. I, I, th I, I personally believe that, that, would, that that's where um, the, the, the future is and obviously that's where I'm putting my money to work. Yeah, yeah. So, Saurabh, I, I just want yeah. to add a few uh, hints from my, uh, from my past experience in the Indian Army. Uh, and I come uh, from a military background, uh, four years of training, uh, 10 years in you know, hard combat. So I happen to read a lot of military history, right? If you actually look at the history, uh, we all always fought for certain ideologies. And then there are allies, big and small, right? right? The challenge when I look at startup entrepreneurs, and uh, you know, I, I myself won, right? There's a certain pride in doing it alone. But if you truly care for the impact, if you truly want to transform things at scale, I would borrow from you know, Mr. Ratan Tata's um, you know, quote, that if you want to uh, you know, uh, reach faster, uh, walk alone. If you want to reach farther, walk together, okay. right? So mm -hmm. I think that, you know, the instinctively, if you, if we think that, okay, everybody needs to collaborate, there is no, there's no shame in, you know, extending your, or seeking help from even your direct competitor to say, Hey, how can we do this together? Because what are we fighting for? We are fighting for a new world order. That world order is driven by technology. We all came here to solve the problem uh, of, of, of for the mankind, uh, you know, if you take from that perspective, yes, money and everything will be incidental, but then we came here to solve the problem for retailer or inefficiencies in trade. Can, is this problem a $500 billion market or probably 1 trillion aggregated across all of the B2B addressable, probably 50% of it. Can it be solved by any one company, however big they are? Sure. How long will it take? Right. Are we willing to wait for three more generations or do we want a change to happen in the next, like say 10 years, 15 years? If, if the collective consensus is, yes, we need to solve it together, every person, the government, the enablers, the investors, the startups, the big purple, right? Everybody needs to join hand in transforming the nation. And there is surplus because India is at an inflection point in the GDP that we are, when we cross the 3000 uh, per capita GDP dollar, right? The nation's consumption, especially people will start becoming less price conscious in grocery. There is actually a hierarchy of what all people become less price conscious. Grocery is the first one you will have you know much more processed food you'll have much more you know uh, value added value addition happening there is markets if you look at established markets there is so much of uh, you know innovations need to happen you walk into any convenience store in hong kong right i mean look you have like within the same uh, you know metro station you'll have four 7-elevens right next to each other mm. right or not 7-eleven like circle k or whatever if you if you go to you know 7-elevens again the same thing right so therefore i think that the time has is today more than Never. Because we are all having an invisible enemy like COVID, the virus attacking all of us, right? It is all the more important to think collaboration, cooperation, allying, more, more important in order to solve a problem, greater good. If we, what will happen if you fight piecemeal? I think that grocery market is like a Russian winter. You have to respect it, <laughs> right? If we, it will consume the best of generals. Yeah. That's what I would say. So therefore, if you want to really solve the problem, think collaboration, think, you know, extending each other reach and technology, like you will have reach, I will have technology. We should just think about solving and a better, greater good will emerge out of this, right? Rather than, you know, taking a very parochial siloed view. 
uh, i think that that has that that maturity has to come from entrepreneurs that maturity has to be instilled into entrepreneurs with investors uh, that maturity has to come in the corp dev circles in you know uh, large big people this whole notion of oh i have this much money i'll destroy you has not played out like literally if you look at it right people like shop kirana or jumbo tail is today we are you know uh, uh, you know billions of dollars of capital couldn't wipe us out billions of dollars of capital couldn't wipe out the kirana stores talk about it right <laughs> right talk about it you couldn't wipe them out 20 years you tried no you couldn't so therefore this is a very different market the time has come for all of us to respect the way this market is shaping extend helping hand and creatively collectively solve the problem so that the bigger newer world order everybody has our place and everybody has our payouts mm -hmm. yeah. and the consumer yeah. benefits that's what i would i would i would say yeah no no and i think just one small addition there is i think you brought a very important point which i think india is lacking even in the startup ecosystem which is that about mnas right i think we need to have mnas <coughs> because i think at some point it does make sense to join forces and do something bigger faster cheaper right um but it will happen i think you know i was very um Uh, pessimistic a few years ago but i think the last 4 5 years in the indian ecosystem have been very very encouraging on multiple fronts i i think it will only get better okay thank you so much sir kartik i really like your point about airlines i uh, you know very interesting i'm very interested in military history so i keep watching all this and i know what what you're talking about so you know gentlemen if you allow we'll start taking some questions because we have a very little time left so uh, you know we'll uh, uh will uh, uh we can we give the audio to chandrai please uh, chandrai can ask her question hi everyone hi chandrai hi. yes please go ahead uh, so my first question is for jumbo tail um uh, for kartik kartik thank you for telling us about what you do i wanted to ask how are you ensuring that the supply chain is uninterrupted because there are a lot of changes in the lockdown rules that are coming and going week in week out so how you are dealing with uh, those kind of government rules etc to make sure that the kirana stores are getting their supplies that is one secondly is how important would you say it is uh, to build a private brand within your supply chain uh, i believe jumbo tail runs something called jumbo farm so if you could tell us a little bit, bit more on that and uh, sort of i had another question for anand should i take it later uh, let kartik first answer maybe then we can yeah, we have a, a few yeah. minutes so i'll just say yeah. uh, i want to thank the government incredible support wherever we are present and you know um, this is the first time uh, i am i came from the government world i've seen the military side but now i actively work with the bureaucrats we i actively work with people um, you know despite what uh, whatever you know hollywood likes us to believe i think these are incredibly talented people we are so lucky to have them and they are helping us in every which way and form and shape and um, uh, so one good thing about jumbo tail is we we own the entire supply chain uh, uh, operations we have our fulfillment centers and we directly procure from the brands mills so and we have our own logistics so therefore in cases where uh, brands were not uh, you know having their own transportation we can go and pick it up from them so we could arrange and in, you know intra state transport was not as much impacted so there was no problem for goods up and the the long line long hauls or line hauls so from the factories to the large fulfillment centers there was no problem because they are concentrated large trucking zone so that's not a problem the problem was always between the fulfillment centers in and outside the city which is would be an equivalent of a cnf for a brand and how does it reach the thousands of the kirana stores that was completely broken because that was dependent on small trucks and three fragmented set of distribution so we being an organized player we were able to attract and retain talent first of all we provided the safety we 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 spent money on um uh, you know insurance we spent money on gears like you know giving them the face shield or giving them the confidence to come and work second thing is uh, when even public transport was uh, you know uh, stopped we arranged a local transportation for people with the pass of the government right so therefore we were able to ensure the workers were having the mobility to reach from their villages we ran you know shuttles and stuff we not were not able to get them uh, to the warehouses uh, we gave them additional meals uh you know a biryani became uh, a, a safely cooked biryani uh, became an extremely important motivator for supply chain people to come and work for you uh, you know that is the level in which we are dealing with and we need to get down there but i will also tell you that the ability to stand an unseen enemy like a virus which can actually take your life and endanger everybody around you you cannot do with money or equipment it has to be years of instilling the right culture in the company which we have done for like whatever we paid we did it for last four years around building a value system we used to tell that our loaders right up 
चावल का बोरी नहीं उठा रहे यू नॉट लिफ्टिंग अ सैक ऑफ राइस यू आर लिफ्टिंग द नेशन ऑन योर बैक एंड दिस इज नॉट वी डेंट टेल देम टुडे वी टोल्ड देम राइट फ्रॉम डे वन बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू ड्रॉप अ पुअरली पैकेज्ड मटेरियल ऑन द ग्राउंड इररेस्पोंसिबली इट जस्ट ब्रेक्स इट इज नॉट यू नो द पीपल on in the packaging material and then we have to bear all of the losses or the supplier has to bear the losses right how do you motivate people to do to respect and this is how we have always instilled we said you are not driving trucks you are moving the nation and that's the pitch otherwise it's very hard to attract people to do you no know, low margin grocery business in a cost effective way that we are doing right so therefore that ensured that we were able to continue our good work and able to service our customers the second uh, question on the on the on the government absolutely you know uh, you know i i have no words to thank them enough support passes direct relationship with the top civil servants top police officials anywhere somebody gets stopped they give a call to us we call the control center and then they call immediately within like 3 minutes all of the you know bottle next so jumbo tail was able to operate in a manner which an unorganized small distributor fragmented set of distributors are not able to operate so therefore our supply lines were you know, always open uh, last question regarding a private brands i always think that any brand should have a reason to exist and uh, you know most people think of oh, private brands may you will make additional margins so no our question our our problem was never about margins our problem was that there was a certain price point and gap that the market was not addressing that was important to the consumers as we understood from our data and we went to the people and asked them to build the brands right that is our first approach because again it is a, again we can become manufacturers right we can we are not in the business of manufacturing but when those uh, solutions are not coming up front and we have all the demand information the second problem the consumer was facing was inconsistent brands in staples so jumbo farms is a wide staples brand uh, and staples inconsistent most brands will come they have this uh, you know uh, harvest of paddy they would have taken a position they will crush it and they'll put it in a brand and 3 months 5 months and then that's all that that brand is existing only for that season the next brand similar things will come right we were not able to guarantee a certain quality level to the uh, 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 to the consumers via the retailers so we innovated so we went to all the mills who are producing and then we said this is the quality so long as you are able to guarantee the quality and i am getting you firm demand and then you put this label so we will solve for helping you get the quality information demand information and we will solve for the consistency of the uh, customer information see brand is very fragmented in our country there is no recall so therefore we solved for price points and quality points that were not currently being addressed and we would it's a democratic so jumbo farms is at another you know product that's available in the market so the consumer will always have a, have a choice it's just addressing a gap so that is where you know how we think about uh, you know brands I, i think you know i i have less time i'd stop it here yeah uh, i know we have, we have run out of time but gentlemen i request if you can stay with me for 10 minutes we have some sure. questions we would really want them to be answered so tandri if you uh, if you can go ahead with your question for anand sir yeah share sort of oh. so uh, <clears throat> anand hi i saw you on global fintech fest yesterday as well and uh, i was working with npci uh, uh, some time back so i know the workings so it's great to see you on the platform and everything that you're doing my question for you was um what is the scope of scaling you see in the kirana space for nearby what uh, pay nearby what what i mean is how open are these people to come on board and also if any unique strategies that uh, you use to onboard non internet user store owners like who are not at all open to uh, moving online or using phones or apps for payments how what was the strategy that worked well for you okay so strategy has two parts one is you want a formula or you want the way it has been derived so let me try the hard way and explain you that um, you know, when you uh, start with empathy and you look at the purpose you uh, get a approach broadly that uh, yes this is the segment which is tech oblivious and uh, uh, the bottom of the pyramid and then you come from a patent oriented background with uh, five patents in banking then you see that how can you bring the high end of tech to the bottom of the pyramid so this whole approach solves a lot once the clarity of purpose is done uh, everything is simple then when you announce it the collaboration comes we came this far not alone uh, important to uh, share that the department of financial services reserve bank npci they have been doing great amount of work the so called cto of the nation nandan uh, has been driving the high end and the bottom both in the steering committees at npci today what india could afford to access financial services is all done by nandan i would say 
that the UPI for high end, he was driving steering committee at NPCI. The Aadhaar enabled payment service, there was Nandan sitting and chairing the programs. The fact that uh, digitization is the only way and retailers are also seeing it hard way in the current times. The fact that five lakh retailers are doling out that 500 bucks to citizen, not to customers, to citizen. And it's a higher purpose what uh, Karthik mentioned that you are not lifting a bag of uh, rice. You are lifting the nation on your shoulder. It's a great uh, way of explaining the purpose to citizen and to our retail partners that you are not serving customer, you are serving the citizen of the nation. And people work tremendously hard on this. Uh, it's a misnomer that connectivity is a challenge in the rural because in 17,000 pin codes, Paynear buys four and a half lakh, five lakh digital pradhans, dole out two million transactions a day. 2 million transactions a day. And these are heavy packet AEPS transactions which suffer the transmission loss. Even with 50% failures, 92% of the customers get serviced. It's a simple thing. What choice do they have? A citizen cannot walk 20 kilometers with broken transportation right now. And the easy thing they have is wait on the side for five more minutes and then put their thumb again. So this is solved, I believe. Uh, the uh, formula, if I may say, is uh, sachetize, uh, digitize, and universalize. Now, this you can apply to very many things, uh, that how do you take a high-end thing in a simplified manner to everyone. Uh, but yes, it comes with a layer of sense of purpose, a uh, sense of empathy when you start seeing, believing, observing people. And my uh, Steve Jobs said for people for smartphone, that you don't survey, you don't ask them, give them what you think they want. Um, our citizens, they don't tweet. The people whom we serve, they don't tweet. They talk to God. If a complaint goes up, then two people will be COVID. In this moment, this is the situation. If you think about it, they feel very bad. You tweet and you get your 500 bucks. You tweet and you get your 500 bucks in a ziffy if you go and uh, tag a DFS or finance ministry. These people, they talk up and down. You have to be ultra responsible. Bring all your acumen of banking, security, convenience, customer grievance redressal in that one simple interaction at a retailer in 30 seconds. Bhaiya, 2 kilo aloo, 1 kilo pyaaj, 500 rupiah ka FD tod ke cash de do mujhe. That is what India is evolving to and I'm proud to be working with my colleagues uh, in this endeavor. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much. I will take the next question. I think uh, Somit has asked a question. If we can give Somit Saha uh, uh, the audio, please. Somit Saha. Uh, if Somit is not there, uh, maybe we can uh, we can give the audio to Abhay Chadda. Abhay Chadda. Okay, I'll 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 maybe I'll uh, you know to save time. I'll ask, ask the question that Somit had. Uh, how many apps will a customer install? Niche player should target niche local markets, or one grocer ties up with everyone. Brokers, big baskets, Swiggy, Zomato, etc. So, you know, wherever can I come to you? You're talking about collaboration, you know, and maybe the question somehow. I think that the essence of the question is that, you know, how many people actually we do go to for, you know, our, uh, for specifically. So, so if you can take take up this one. Yeah. No, I think I think that's a great question and something we think about every day. Um, I I think so. My personal view is that. Um, we should be doing all of this through um, what is the largest app that we use every day. And that might be different for everybody, but it looks like it's most likely WhatsApp for most people in India, correct? So technically, why should I have to leave my app or my, my power app to go outside, right? Um, now, what has happened is that I think because of the way some of these aggregators have evolved, it has become a walled garden, right? Um, and and the, the, the bad part of the walled garden is that you and I have to go and install multiple applications. Now, the question we have to ask is, it's actually the same restaurants that, that, that's delivering. That is the same uh, stuff, uh, the same brand of what I get delivered and things like that. So um, I think the question is, how do I create something that actually 
doesn't require the demand to go through a particular system, right? I think, and we've seen this happen in payments, right? No longer do we have to go this way and this way and this way. I mean, just yesterday, there was a e-commerce team that I am mentoring where they were uh, kind of trying to answer this question about offers and, you know, the offers are under this card and this payment gateway and this, and people just lose track of everything, right? So I think we are seeing these kind of walled gardens and islands that are happening, which um, which at some point have to kind of open up. And I think this whole API driven world that we will go into is probably the solution in terms of how I can um, not have to go into a system to do an activity. Uh, I can just do it myself and the system takes care of it, right? So I think um, it's, a, it's a hard problem in the short term because I think the aggregators have done a very, um, very hard job that they're going to protect for a long time. But I think in other segments, we will see kind of API-driven open systems where I won't be forced to use an app to do this um, and, and, and kind of open up uh, slowly. So um, I think that's the future, but I think we will go through these wall gardens for some more time. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll quickly just take one more question, gentlemen, before we wrap up. So if you can give the mic to uh, Ankush Mittal, please. Ankush. Uh, yeah. Uh, hi. Yeah. Ankush, please keep your question short because we've run out of time. So we'll get you on question answer quickly. Please. Go thanks. Ahead. Thanks, Saurabh. Hi. Uh, I have worked with Karthik before in Jumbo Tail, and uh, I follow Weber on LinkedIn. Uh, so great respect for you guys. Uh, I'll keep it very short. Uh, I have a question to Weber. Uh, Weber, what do you think uh, penetration of health brands in com consumers eating habits at a premium price? What do you think? What sort of consumers would be early adopters? And what do you think uh, the adoption speed of healthy brands in tier two and tier three cities? Yeah, great question. Something that is top of mind. I'm talking to multiple teams at this point, uh, which tells you that I'm a believer. Right. Um, I think in general, let's. I think it goes back to uh, a point Karthik mentioned earlier. Right. Um, what is the? Uh, what do the consumers want? Right. Do they want to eat healthy? Yes. Do they want to get fitter? Yes. Right. Um, now, I think the challenge lies in terms of um, you know uh, a lot of healthy brand companies and founders thinking just about the product. Whereas I feel that a good product, whether it's um, a, a, a vitamin or um, a, a, a powder or something like that, or a bar, uh, there will be table stakes on, on, on quality, right? And everybody, I mean, I don't think that will be the differentiator. What needs to happen for you to be successful is really to have a story right? I think without going into the politics or anything of it, if you look at uh, Patanjali, Patanjali is a story, right? It's a story. It's, it's a brand established by one person. So I think uh, if you look at the US where brands across health and non-health have exploded over the last 10 years, right? And in, in my time you, uh, as well, um, it's just incredible explosion of brands on just a very small 300 million population, correct? And I think in India, we have an incredible opportunity because we just haven't innovated on the brand side. So yes, we need that. But product is going to be a table stakes. It is the story and distribution that you have to figure out. To a large extent, distribution is also table stakes. I think people will figure out the online offline. It is the story, I think. And that is where the story, the community around the brand, that will make all the difference. And I think once that happens, then I think pricing will become less important. Okay. So thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Vaibhav. Next question is to Karthik. Karthik, do you think the distribution of healthy brands at premium price could be driven by retail stores uh, or you think the premium product consumer will rely more on supermarkets or online channels? It, today, I will give a different answer. Two months ago, my answer would have been different because the consumer was making certain choices of new discovery and you know he was coming to top ups and uh, uh, for the Karana store and there was some sort of a uh, brand uh, 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 identification. Uh, but first of all, uh, let me tell uh, that uh, until India reaches uh, a certain per capita uh, 
Uh, this question has to be nuanced uh, with a certain kind of, you know, okay, what is the top answer to the top uh, 10 million people of the country versus uh, the remaining folks? Um, uh, the challenge that today supermarkets uh, or whatever the top like a food hall kind of a business in this COVID, I think it will take a little bit longer for people to go to malls. So every discovery, whatever that needs to happen, needs to happen via the mom and pops. Uh, online is not a very great mechanism for trying new products. Uh, online is a great mechanism for like, for example, online B2C is a great mechanism for pulling what you already tried. So the first trial needs to happen today because of the COVID environments where your, your large established malls and where your, your, your samplers are all of those people. We need a fundamentally different model to reach the consumer. Uh, and especially when the consumer is not going out as much before because of work from home, because of, you know, any other restrictions, travel, mobility, whatever, how do you make the people try it? So uh, the answer to that question can lie in two forms. One um, is through the mom and pops, placing the products on the shelf or tying up with food companies. So uh, for every food delivery, uh, you could incentivize the food companies are also looking to make margins. You have some you know, marketing money. So you give them, uh, say, a sample package to be distributed. So somehow you have to figure out in the first principles, how do you get the first taste to happen? Then if that problem is solved, that, that person who will be solving this problem will be very different. So earlier, all these things used to happen in the same place, in a food hall or in a, in a big bazaar or in a, you know, all these big malls where I go, I efficiently can sample for a large number of customers standing in only one, per, one place. And then if a fraction of them would like it and do it uh, trial immediately, right? So now this has to be broken down. So people are coming out less. So you have to send the samples in some form. You have to make it then available through other channels. So this is how I think about it. Uh, and then the larger question of can it become mainstream? I think that you know people are making very conscious choices about how they spend their dollars. Um, uh, you know, premium is not something that I am uh, very bullish uh, at this point in time. Uh, healthy, definitely yes, but uh, like say uh, a packet a consumer is a consumer was never fooled and no longer going to be fooled with a, a packet full of makanas uh, with full of air, right? So five makanas for five rupees is it's not fly. And you have a higher uh, margin profile because you have to cover your distribution costs. And that's a problem that some, some manufacturer has to, has to try. But I think people are going to have to explain and really earn the consumer's dollar right now. Uh, that's at a premium. Uh, so, so I think, uh, you know, getting to general trade, all the healthy brands, uh, uh, which are sold at a premium price. So healthy brands, like say, um, uh, what is it? Papad, when you crush it, it's, it's a Gujarati dish. I, I, I'm, I'm Kakra, right? So, uh, so all of, uh, all of those kind of, you know, local healthy brands, which can be manufactured. Uh, but if you want a, a caramel salted popcorn uh, and you want to fill it in like a lot of nitrogen and give it, I think it will have its challenges. Okay. Thank all right. you. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. We have really run out of time. We have, I don't want to hold you up uh, anymore, but it was really insightful for me uh, to listen to every one of you, especially, you know, Karthik, the uh, way you explained that how we would you you know encourage your uh, Kirana store people and the people in the supply chain? How you motivate them, uh, Anand, for your insights uh, of uh, you know what really the customer needs today, Atta Chawan or is uh, Netflix. So that that would be and they were definitely your observations. You 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 have a perch from where you see at everything and you keep a uh, you know you keep a, a, a tap on everything. So thank you very much, gentlemen, for being here today. It was really nice and I hope to see you again. Uh, sometime later and thank my attendees to be here and uh, we'll be again back with another episode of Thank you so much. Lovely. Thank Thanks you so much, thank guys. You. Thank, thank you. you. Really appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.